So I'm starting off this video a little bit differently today, guys. Uh, don't mind me, I just also got a new fidget spinner. So some of you guys don't know, but I actually went to Thailand right after the trip with the exploring crew. My boy Alex hooked me up and I got to stay over at his place. Time to just relax and chill after a month exploring all over Japan. Yeah, but I also did exploration videos there as well and I did a lot of other fun vlogs that you can go check out my second channel, which is, hasn't really been updated with vlogs because I've actually been putting my vlogs here on my main channel. So I've been using this little fidget spinner actually. It just came in the mail today. It's a cool looking one. It's different than the rest. And it's by a company called Infinite Spin. Link will be in the description below. You can go check out their site. This is my first time using a fidget spinner. And before I didn't know why it was so addicting to people, but now I kind of see like, oh wow, it is kind of fun. Let me see if I can do a trick. Ah. Ah. This is hard. I really suck at fidget spinners, but I'll get better and better. And it's very durable, so it's like extremely hard. I can throw this on the ground multiple times without anything happening to it. So right before we begin the video, I just want to apologize that the sound is not really that great. They had these bugs in the bushes and trees that kept making these loud noises throughout the entire day. And it was kind of annoying, but it was a really cool place nonetheless. I call it the ghost palace in Thailand. It reminds me of the ghost palace in Bali. But I hope you guys enjoy it. But all right, guys. I hope you guys enjoy watching it. You have to be careful. It's all wet. It was raining earlier. It's kind of still drizzling because this place is absolutely massive. So there's a creepy mannequin somewhere on the rooftop. It's still there. You can go check out his old video. There was a mannequin that was standing right there. It was so creepy. Yeah, dude, that would, that would freak me out too if I just see that. Uh, you can see a good view of the place from here. You know what this reminds me of? What? That uh, place in Bali that Josh and Cody did. Oh, the abandoned, yeah, that's true. This is such a nice area for the resort back then. They're probably bummed out. I don't think they get as much as a good view now. I didn't go yeah. there, I went behind it. Oh damn. So we can go here. We, yeah, it's we can... like the biggest pool. Yeah, it looks dope. Oh, now I'm starting to see graffiti, but not too much. So Alex right now is trying to show me a room. Down. This massive drop out, yeah. Dude, I was worried. I was like, where are you going, <laughs> man? <laughs> little pool right here. And you just got this amazing view from the lookout. So yeah, the hotel rooms here were no joke. I mean, a jacuzzi right by the, the window or the, the balcony. Like, that's amazing. What happened to that boat? It's an abandoned boat. Abandoned boat. So we're gonna be heading up. Apparently the room is all the way at the top. Why, what happened? Yo, Finn was here. It says Finn. <laughs> On the move, Finn. On the move, Finn. So bad news is they might have taken everything out of the rooms. Um, Alice hasn't been here in a long time. I think it's been like maybe six or more months. So I think some of the people, the construction workers have taken some of the, some of the furniture out. I think it's so crazy how the side of the hill, you can actually see it now. 
so much rubble downstairs in the basement floor. We're gonna be heading there now. We're trying to find a way towards the back where the giant pools are. And we'll give you a brief history once we get down there. Where the people went in and... Oh, for real? Yeah. So this was kind of like the entrance. Yeah. Oh, okay. You'll see a pole where the sign was for the entrance. Kind of got lucky. We came around the right time, at least for me, because I've never been here before. So I'm glad. Because it looks like this place is under construction or they're scraping everything up and they're about to demolish it. Here we are though, in the back. Is that a giant pool right there? Oh, you know why it looks different? There used to be a pool all along here. Oh, but seriously? No way. Yeah. Wow. I, used to, I, I remember I had to walk along the side here. Oh. That's why it looks different to me. Yo, this is dope. I like the colors. Like it looks like an ancient city of like Atlantis. There's another pool on the other side, I think. Yeah, yeah, I remember. Oh, this was the pool. We got the stairs. Is this the one we saw? No, it was a bigger one. I don't know. Some weird. Just heard a weird bird noise. I don't know if it got picked up by the mic. So this is how the roofs look like from the bottom, and it's just a giant tub right here in a bathroom. Yeah. I don't know if you guys can hear that, but those are bugs from the trees and they're so loud. Oh. Found it. Oh. All right. We found the pool, but these bugs are so loud. It might be, you, can't, you guys probably can't even hear me. Shut up. Wait, I'm just moving back here because the bugs are still loud. I hope it doesn't interfere with the mics. Uh, but I just want to give some brief historical information about this place. Uh, so apparently there's a big typhoon, tsunami. Alex, you know what, yeah, what right. happened, right? So, okay. So on, the, on December 26, 2004, there was a massive tsunami which affected this half of Phuket. So what the people did is they evacuated this area all the way to the other side of the island. So all of these areas were left to just be completely abandoned. And currently right now, there's a big debate between the landowners and the hotel owners, whether or not they should rebuild this hotel. Um, they're fighting over who owns the right to land and who has the power to do that at the moment. And so far, it's just left abandoned for people to wander and explore. If you want, you can find more information in the links down in the description below. Completely collapsed. Like this entire area completely collapsed. Apparently there used to be cables and wires all around, but the workers took them out I feel like these were, used to be fountains right here. And we just made it to the second pool. It's a lot smaller than the first one, but you can just imagine how grand and awesome this is. I mean, you're swimming here by the pool. You got the amazing view of the beach right in front of you. It's sad that this place had to be just left abandoned because of the tsunami. These looks like they could have been the high-end presidential suites. I don't know, they just look luxurious compared to these ones. Like you can tell they're small. These ones are really big and they have a gorgeous view. So much debris, you can't really stay in this area anymore. If I stay in this hotel, I'd be chilling right there all the time though. Alright guys, so that's a wrap. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give a thumbs up, subscribe, and share. Also check out my boy Alex. What's up guys? Thanks Channel's bro. on the move. Check it out. Yeah, yeah. He, some of you probably guys already but know him, but if you don't, he basically does videos like me and the exploring crew where he explores the damn places all around the world. I'm tired, we just walked a long hill. This place was definitely one of my most unique abandoned places in the world. It's huge, it's big. I hope you guys really did enjoy it. Right now we're gonna head back home. I'm gonna take a shower and we're gonna figure out what to do from there. But okay guys, stay tuned for more adventures. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Peace.